This is our custom built twin engine aircraft. We've used this for a video platform and photography as well and has given us many flights that were very successful. This custom aircraft has the ability for camcorder installation which would sit underneath this hatch that we have designed for easy access and also for a video link which our camera will sit right up here in the 132nd Lexan windshield area. Now let's get started with the installation of the video link in the twin engine aircraft. We'll start by installing the switch and the battery pack. It's not real critical where the battery pack is placed as long as it does not affect the balance of the aircraft. Here we have placed the battery pack in the nose which helps balance our aircraft more correctly. If you look down inside the fuselage here you will see what I refer to as sticky backs. What those are used for is to hold the wire tie wraps in place. We can then strap our battery pack in place without it moving about the fuselage on us. As you can see on the far side of the nose where our flight pack is installed. Next we're going to install our transmitter. Here we have taken a piece of latex foam rubber and have sliced a notch in it so we can have a little bit of extra padding and protection around our transmitter. Now in this situation the transmitter will be placed down through the fuselage through a hole which we have already, already made and right down into place it goes. Now by the use of another sticky back and a tie wrap we have secured the transmitter in place. Now we're ready for the camera installation. Here we are again with some more foam. This is a little bit different than the eggshell foam that we were using just a little bit ago. This is a soft, nice shock absorbing, noise absorbing foam. And what I'm intending to do here is I'm going to cut out a block that will fit inside the nose of the fuselage. I'm going to cut the foam about three quarters of an inch oversize. And this isn't real critical. A good guesstimate should work just fine. And we can slide this down here just to get an idea of how, how snug we're going to be. That looks like should work quite well. And we'll place this down in here to get an idea of where we need to cut across the top. The purpose for cutting the foam oversized primarily is to help hold the camera in place. When we insert the camera in the hole that we'll make in the center here in a moment, it will tighten up the foam and hold our camera in the location that we would desire it to be in. Now with our foam cut, we will slide it down to place one more time. And I like that, that looks real good. I can see where that's going to stay in place real well. Um, something else I might mention, in case you didn't notice, we have a little bit of black construction paper on the inside cheeks of the firewall. And, and the purpose for that is whenever light is being cast into this Lexan windshield, it will cause a reflection to bounce around the inside of the nose piece. And that can change the lighting condition that your camera thinks it's seen. So it can give dim shadows and underlighting or underexposure on your video image. So by placing the black on the sides of the cheek, that does away with that particular problem. Right. Now that we've marked the location that we prefer to have our camera installed at, we'll, we'll cut out this piece of foam. And Okay, now that we've made our hole in the foam, we will install the camera. And this is pretty much what we were after here. Now, just simply place the camera and the foam in the nose of the airplane. Now we will finish making the connections for the audio and the video and the power. We will turn on our camera now and check our point of view. It's that simple.